Live from Shreveport, Louisiana, it's the 47th Annual Miss USA Pet. Welcome back, everyone, from 10 finalists to five in just a minute. And Allie, you've been through this. How yes, hard is it to get cut at this point? Julie, this is the worst part mm. of all. To be cut at this point is like a stake through the heart. These girls have been preparing for years, for months, and they've been here at this pageant for over two and a half weeks. So for them not to hear their name called, it is, it's terrifying. It's like Olympic training, and it's you exactly, don't win a, a medal. It's exactly the same thing. And now they're back, they're, they will go backstage and probably have to adjust to the fact that now they're going to have to move on to their life and, and get over this portion of it. Eddie, I am nervous for them all right now, but let's get down to the five finalists. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the judges have made their decisions. We are down to five women, and one of them will be come the Miss USA. And we're starting with Miss California, Shauna Gamble. And we do have a response reserve for Miss Massachusetts, Shauna Jebya. We also have her from Miss Utah, Melissa Lee Anderson. Three down, just two more to go. We have them reserved for Miss Missouri, Melanie Breedlove. And the last of our five finalists, Miss Texas, Holly Moe. Let's give us some dish. We are excited. Do we? We picked the five. Do we have five? All right. <laughs> we did it. At this point, I, I'm like going crazy. I'm what so advice would you girls. give to these girls right now? You know, they really just have to calm down and get over the fact that they just got picked in the top five and really be prepared mentally for the next portion of the competition. It is crucial. We have got a great competition going right yes, here. Yes, we do. It is, it's neck and neck. You I know, love the I girls. I don't think anyone's so really standing out, though. They're, they're all great. It's going to be tight. And as the night gets longer, the questions get tougher. And coming up, the next round of interviews up close and personal. Well, you know how the Olympic ice skating has a short program and a long program? Well, so does the interview portion of our competition. We've already had the rapid-fire mock press conference. Now let's try the longer, more thoughtful approach. And here from CBS This Morning is Jose diaz Villart with our interview. Thank you very much. California's Shauna Gamble. Hi, Shauna. How are you? I'm just... Very well, thank you. I've learned that you've given your houseplants names and that you actually sing to them. Yes, Give me I your name do. and give me a song. Okay, well, I don't actually sing the words. I hum classical music to them, and my favorite is Tchaikovsky and Vivaldi, and I sing it to Eeyore, and that is my big palm tree, and I always sing the Four Seasons, so. And he, sing, and he swings to the breeze. He does. He's like, dun, 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 dun. <laughs> so he likes that. Your favorite book is 10 Stupid Things Women Do to Mess Up Their Lives. Yes. Have you done any one of them? You know what? I think uh, as a teenager, I did all 10, and that's why I like that book the most, because it really taught me how to identify and deny abusive relationships and become a stronger woman. And you haven't done any of those things since his teenage years. You know what? Uh, slowly but surely, I am accomplishing uh, the positive of each one so that I don't repeat my mistakes. Shauna, thank you very much. Thank you. She nailed that interview. She, she absolutely did. nailed that. She is really on her toes when it comes to answering those questions. I'm and you know impressed. what? She has a great sense of humor, too. She does. She does. She brings all the elements in. Very important. All right, let's head back to Jose with the questions for delegate number two. Okay, say hello to Massachusetts. Shawnee Jabia. Jabia. You say you like to express yourself through health and beauty. Tell us why you think you should be Miss USA without using any words. When you're much older, probably running like a marathon when you're 80, 
what will you tell your grandchildren was the highlight of your experience here? The entire experience. Waking up every morning, wondering what your schedule is going to be like, getting ready for a television production, meeting 51 in 50 incredible girls from all over the United States, and having the time of my life here. That's sure. what I would share with them. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. You know, she really rose to the occasion with she that fitness did. question. She is a sports enthusiast, and, and that's exactly what she did. She definitely did rose to the occasion. But, you today. know, she's fresh, and she's candid, and I like her. She I like her style. Very natural. She is. I appreciate that. All right, Jose, now questions for delegate number three. From the beautiful state of Utah, Melissa Lee Anderson. Hi. Hello. You live in the uh, South American country of Uruguay for a couple of years. You said you had to rough it. What was one thing that you really missed not having? Well, when I was down in Uruguay, uh, one, of my, one of the places I lived was actually a tool shed and had a grass roof. And there was a little outhouse down the hill and around a corner without electricity. And so, you know, I have to admit, I, I missed the, the comforts that we had at home. But I also learned that without the comforts, you can still be happy. And I learned more about myself and what's important in life. I've heard you speak Spanish. Let's see if it's true. Translate this. Ahora estoy un poco ocupada, pero me encantaría conocerte mejor. Right now I'm a little uh, busy, but I'd like to get to know you better. You did it perfectly. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias a ti. Thank you very much. Thank you. Ah, Jose. <laughs> She's sweet talking to you. Jose got it that time. I know. You know what's interesting is they're choosing to stand in their dresses. There's a chair there, there a chair. but they're not sitting. Julie, you know, I think their dresses are probably a little snug. A little and snug. They don't want them and to see, get they wrinkled, wrinkled they like do. ours. <laughs> Back to Jose with questions for delegate number four. From Missouri, Melanie Breedlove. Hi, Melanie. Hi there. Melanie, you have more than 100 second cousins. <laughs> yes. Name them all. No, no, just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> There's no way I could do that. <laughs> but you are a self-professed jock and uh, kind of a tomboy. Uh, does that interfere with your plans of becoming the most glamorous woman in America? Not at all. I think that actually strengthens my abilities to do that. I am very diversified, very well-rounded. I spent most of my childhood playing basketball out in the driveway with my father, playing volleyball. And this is just something new, another way to express my abilities as a woman. We can be both, glamorous you, and athletic. You say you like to camp the comfortable way. What's comfortable about camping? <laughs> well, camping the comfortable way is with my grandma and papa in their fifth wheel trailer with air conditioned TV, plumbing, all that good stuff. Make sure you get a satellite TV to watch CBS. Thank exactly. you so very much. Thank you. You know, we can be both. We can be anything. Certainly. And what I noticed most is she was very present in her conversation. Mm -hmm. And sometimes that's hard to do because you have all these people in the audience. But she was really one-on-one -on -one with Jose. And I think and she had an infectious giggle. <laughs> Jose now has questions for delegate number five. From Texas, Holly Mills. Hi, Holly. Hi. Hi, Louisiana. <laughs> Holly, you call yourself a natural salesperson. That's How right. How would you sell yourself? Ooh, I'm glad you asked. You need to pick me for Miss USA because I'm a marketing tool. It's what I was born. I'm a born salesman. I think I get that from my family. And I think it's essential being Miss USA, you have to be able to sell yourself. I'm a very mature woman. I'm 24 years old. And I have um, been through a lot of hardships, but have a lot of mental attitude that helps me through that. And I believe in personal excellence. And I want to share that with the world. You know, you say that uh, in your bio that uh, the most treasured possession is the 24 hours in front of you. That's right. If, by any chance, you don't become Miss USA, what are you going to do with the next 24 hours? Well, I'm going to party and I'm going to eat everything that I can because I've been working out really hard for this. So I'm going to have a good time with all of my fans and family here. <laughs> Win or lose, count me in. I'm with you. Thank you very much, Thank Holly. Thank you. It was a pleasure. You know, Jose's really grilling these girls. He is. Julie, you know what? I have to say, I'm very partial to Miss Texas I because know. I judged her in the Miss Texas competition. She's so sweet. And she sat in the chair. Good for her. She's the only She's one. sitting like us. <laughs> Wrinkles and all. She did a great job. All right, now we're going to throw it back down to Eddie this time. Well, coming up, only three of these five women will continue their quest for Miss USA 1998.